All right, to get started with using iMovie, you're going to first want to pull up iMovie, which is the little star icon with the camera in the middle. Go ahead and click on that. We're starting a new project, so you're going to click on Start New Project. If you've already got projects there, if not, it should automatically come up to this next screen where it asks you, do you want to do movie magic, storyboard, or movie? Today we're going to be working with movie. From there, you're going to go in and you're going to see your movie clips in your picture clips, anything that you've got in your iPad. I'm going to go ahead and select them. You do have to select at least one to start your movie, to create your movie. Select one, hit create movie. That's going to put you on over into your storyboard. From there, you can add other clips. You can check to make sure the volume is there. Welcome everyone to Mr. Wilkes. Now, if you accidentally insert an extra video clip, just click on that video clip, and then you can go over to the side where you see the little garbage can on the bottom. If it's highlighted, you can go down and click on that delete, and that's gonna remove that extra clip. Now we're gonna to go to add pictures over our video. You can see where the plus sign is up there. Once we hit plus, it's gonna show us our videos, we can go back and see other media that's in there. We can click on photos or backgrounds. Right now we're gonna click on background and we're gonna add a background at the first with a title to introduce our video. You can choose any one you'd like. I clicked on the red one. Now that I'm on there, I gotta move my cursor to the first and now I'm gonna click on that clip and if you notice once I click on it, there's another menu that pops up down here. I'm gonna go ahead and click on titles. That will preview the different titles that are available. I'm going to choose one of those and put the title on my video. Once I click on the title I want, click up on the words, it says edit. I'm going to click edit. Once I click on edit, that's where I can go in and I can add my own texts. Once I've decided what I'm going to title my video, I've clicked edit. I can type in whatever I would like it to be in the title. Once I've edited the top, I'm going to click on the bottom. I'm going to edit the bottom text as well. Once I've got it in there, I can go back and hit done. And then I can preview what I just typed. Now once we've got our title, I'm going to go ahead and I want to edit my video. I'm going to go and select that little mic microscope with the plus. I can pinch with my two fingers to zoom in, to cut out the sides, or maybe I need to zoom out a little bit more to see more of my picture, and then preview. Welcome everyone to Mr. Wilkes' art class. I'm thrilled to have you all. Now what I'm going to do is add a voiceover. I've already got my voice in there. I've got that on that main video track. Now I'm going to add a picture. Click that same plus, click on those three dots, choose cutaway, split screen, whatever you'd like. For this, I'm using cutaway. It's going to replace my face with the picture, and then I can preview. Before we dive into our projects, I want to emphasize the importance of maintaining a growth mindset throughout the year. Remember, things might get challenging. Now, if I need to shrink that, I can click on that video where it's highlighted, click on the end, and drag it shorter in a growth mindset throughout the year. Remember, things might get challenging. Now once I've got that first picture loaded, I want to add another one. I'm going to make sure my cursor is at the start to where that other one ended. I'm going to choose, click on the photo, hit the three dots, choose cutaway, and then I'm going to preview once again to see if I need to change the size. Mindset throughout the year. Remember, things might get challenging, and you may feel like you can't do it. Yet. Now, if I'd like to add video, I'm going to do that much the same way. I'm going to make sure my cursor, my line, is where I want the video to start. I'm going to choose that little plus icon up in the top right. Now I can choose the video. Hit the three dots. Choose cutaway if I want it to take over the whole picture. And then I can preview. Music is another passion of mine. And I've been fortunate enough to see artists like Lady Gaga. Now, of course, I can resize that by clicking on it so that it highlights and drag the sides left to right and then preview. To see artists like Lady Gaga, Madonna, 
once it's where I want it, I can then go and add another video clip the exact same way. Next, if I want to add a soundtrack, same thing, hit the plus, switch over to choose audio, click on my songs, can go through and I can preview them by clicking on them and it will play a short preview. It does take just a moment to load. Once it's loaded, you can listen to the song. Once you've added it, it's always a good idea to preview. Welcome everyone to Mr. Wilkes's art class. I'm thrilled to have you all here as we embark on this exciting journey into the worlds of photography and 3D art. But before we dive into our projects, I want to emphasize the importance. That does it for me today. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me via email. It's your turn to play around with things. I'm here to help you. And any questions, email me at any time.